Hello everyone, and welcome back to Imperator Rome. Man, it's been a long time. We here with the Insubrians. For no other reason than I just thought, literally, I need to play something in Imperator. I need to do something. I thought, you know what? Insubria. Why not? <laughs> I have never played them before. So, this is going to be interesting. Of course, let's just start off right off the bat with our heritage. Heritage of the Sophisticated Migrants. At one point, called the most important Celtic tribe in all of Italy, the Insubris were one of the first to enter Cisalpine Gaul and establish themselves in the Po Valley. They were the ones to settle the town of Mediolanum, at least after 600 BCE, which sat upon a good trading position and became a quite prosperous town. It is said in legend that the Gaulish king Ambicatus sent his nephew, Belovesus, into Cisalpine Gaul in charge of a great Gallic party of tribes. He is then supposed to have founded Mediolanum in the time of Tarquinius Priscus. The Insubris themselves were a mixed culture of Celtic migrated elements as well as influences from the Golaseca culture. Their oligarchic society relied on their relationships with established peoples such as the Etruscans and Veneti to create a more advanced and sophisticated society. Essentially, we are a little bit more, or actually fairly a lot more, civilized than our other Celtic and Gallic brethren around us. Because of that, we have higher research points, plus 5%, import value, plus 5%, and less tribes and output. So tribesmen are a little less important we need to definitely work on pretty much at the beginning here. First of all, <laughs> founding the city of Mediolanum. And we also need to focus on civilizing, just simply. Just getting more citizens. Our starting early here is really nice. 6, 8, 8, 10. That's crazy. Of course, we're a settled tribe, which is problematic because I'm playing with... I forgot what's called. Realistic tribes or something? So... It's going to be harder for us to, or pr pretty much nearly impossible for us to actually civilize, to centralize. So I assume because, because we do have a special mission tree, I do believe the Insubrians have a special mission tree. If I can find it. Why is that North Europe? Why is that class as North? I'm pretty sure that should not be North Europe. Unless it's because we are Gauls. So we're classed in the North Europe section, but I feel like geographically we are quite literally in South Europe. So maybe maybe that should be looked into Invictus, even though it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. There's some country, same religion, happiness, manpower recovery speed. Well, the wages for characters plus 5%, which is not very good. We're Lepontic. Archers, lots of... That's really nice. That's really interesting because I don't... There's not a lot of cultures around. I At least, I haven't played with a lot of cultures that have a big emphasis on archers. And archers are really good in this game. Like, super good. Probably one of, if not the best units. Like, definitely top three in this game. Then we have heavy infantry, spearmen, and then light infantry. Pretty interesting. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to obviously do Dynastic Diadochi names and i am also going to turn on chaotic ai because i want a challenge and i just want simply chaos i'm interested to see what happens i hope i'm gonna get declare war on a lot more because that's really what i want i just want constant just constant chaos really i feel like the ai isn't as aggressive really in this game I, I, it doesn't seem very aggressive especially when you're very strong like when you get to a certain point when you get to a certain strength the ai never declares war on you unless you are at war with like another major power then someone will declare war on you usually another major power but other than that AI never really tries anything against you i guess if the more antagonistic nations there are the more wars there's gonna be right and the more blobs there's gonna be if you do less there'll be less blobs and i just want more blobs honestly so you know what let's just go super chaotic 30 antagonistic nations <laughs> I'm going to assume in our mission tree that we centralize near the end of it. So I'm just going to not do anything. I guess just 
fix the tribes. We will fix the tribes. And we will also share civil AI. Okay, so we do become a republic in the future, which is nice. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Makes sense that we do become a republic, considering that in Subrian society, the civilization was mostly run, as at least as far as we can tell, from the signs that we've gotten from archaeological uh, artifacts and, you know, things that we've gotten from this region, it does show that the art that the Insubrian society was most likely oligarchic. So I think it does make sense for that sort of system and sort of society to naturally form into a republic given enough time. Of course, obviously, historically in real life, the Insubrians were not given enough time to actually become a sophisticated, uh, to, 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 to develop a sort of sophisticated sort of governance. Looking at the rest of the mission tree, it just seems like just simple simple conquest. We do get Colonia. We do get access to Colonia, which is pretty interesting, pretty cool. Pretty much like the Roman mission tree, where you get to settle Colonia as well in conquered areas. That's interesting. I'm assuming that Rome will be an issue in this campaign. I'm hoping, honestly, I'm genuinely hoping that Rome will be an issue and an actual threat and not get destroyed by the Etruscans again. <laughs> as I've been, as it's been happening a lot. Wow, our levies are insane. First of all, that's a lot of archers, a lot of heavy infantry. We have a very strong military, but we have a lot of, of levies as well. Of course, we are a tribe, so we do get more. We also do have a fair amount of pops. We have, where's our pops? Where do we see pops? Oh, this is where we see pops. We have 800, 128 pops. So, good amount of pops there. What we're going to do, first of all, I guess we're going to trade. Of course, we need food. Food is very important. Then we will go for something that helps our units, honestly. I, I guess we just go with some more food. Let's go for some olives. Why not? Carthage. Now that reminds me, I need to also do this stuff. We are druidic, mind you. Our civilization is druidic, but our entire pantheon is italic. Uh, that's what? Okay. So, what? Okay. Is there like a mission where we maybe embrace the Italic Pantheon? No, I don't see it. I don't think so. That seems very odd. That seems very odd to just start off with that. That is very weird. <laughs> And to embrace the Italic Pantheon is a lot of stability, man, and a lot of PI. All right, well, this is our Pantheon. Looks pretty interesting. The, this is good. This is very good. But yikes, this, this definitely needs a change, I feel. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I love the Fort Defense. I love the Fort Defense. Also, the, the passive discipline, that's just really nice. I actually really like this Tyrannus. I can't change it right now. I'm not going to. We're going to select... Capital import, I'm sure. Why not? We'll get some more olives. Monthly corruption. We'll go with monthly corruption so we can immediately do this. Right. Increase wages. That's good and all. So that is that. I think we are done there. Wait, I unpaused, but I just realized. Wait, do we we do we even have claims? We have to manually make the claims, by the way. We have to manually make these claims. Well, let, let's see. If we get an alliance here, we get this. We need forts. Okay. Wow. 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 That's good. Okay. Invite settlers to our Italian cities. Or at least one city or metropolis. Okay. Right. So, so yeah, we have to... We have to manually make the claims. Okay, so I'm getting claims on both Taurinia and Sonomania, and I have just allied the Volcantia because they seem to have the most pops in this region, so they'll be the strongest ally. And now we can do this, Transalpine uh, allies. If you don't know, Diplorep is helpful with reducing aggressive expansion, also 
good for improving opinion maximum. I think we probably just want to, yeah, we probably do want to improve our opinion with them. Considering we should probably switch to Mercantile, honestly, or something. But we don't really have the PI. I don't want to spend too much PI. Currently getting claims, so once we get the claims, we declare war on the weakest one. Sotomani doesn't have any. Do you think it makes sense to ally the Etruscans? No, because I, I genuinely want the Etruscans to lose and Rome to actually grow and become a challenger, even though that may just result in my demise. Still, I want to have some sort of challenge. Wow, I got comments at it this early? All right, so it seems like Torinia has only got an alliance with Celestia. They have a lot of pups, which is problematic, but we have more. And I have a pretty strong ally. You have no allies, so we're definitely gonna go for you first. Lepontic, we are Lepontic. Oh, we are Lepontic, I didn't even notice. Yeah. Oh wow, this is all Lepontic. That's huge, actually. So we don't have to worry about integrating any cultures. At least until we go into the italics. But there we go. That's done. We can just immediately go to war. We should have probably had our levies up already. And we'll just immediately declare this war. Don't even think about it. Oh, wow, we got a breakthrough. I think probably going pretty good into pretty, pretty heavily into military, honestly, at the beginning here is... Gonna be very important, especially when Rome comes, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're going into military here. That did give us a free investment, so we will put that, I think, into... You don't pay for your capital for it. You do pay for this one. And it's more expensive because of it being over the capacity. So it might, be, it might actually make sense to use it on this. Getting attacked here, we should be okay. And that's that. This war is very simple. Oh my god, I forgot about the insane cost to build a city because we are a tribe because of the Realistic Tribes mod. Oh my god. I will have to save up for 8 to 850 gold, which honestly isn't actually going to be that hard considering the amount of cities around here that we can sack. So, not too bad. The issue is definitely going to be the PI. That is that is insane. That is actually insane. We're going to scheme influence here. PI is going to be a massive issue. We're going to also do some giving of free hands as well. Sack of Verona. Here we go. It is a lot of Lepontics, but I definitely want the money. I don't want to be cruel. I don't really care. That's a lot of pops being killed, but I, I do want... Do you want the money? All right, that is just war done. We will invite settlers to our Italian cities. Should I wait for this and just wait for Mediolanum to be built? I think so, because I want to invite settlers to Mediolanum. I don't really care for Verona, so I, th I think we'll just wait. We're not, we're not gonna worry about that. I haven't even looked at trade goods, actually. Got some honey, that's nice. That's about it, cloth. Precious metals here. So that's all that's that's about it <laughs> for the good resources. We're gonna have to go to war with these guys because they have one settlement in the Insubri province. So the good thing here is that they are in this offensive league, so we will fight this offensive league as well. There'll be a lot actually that we're fighting, but the good thing about this is that we can full annex these guys, honestly. I think we can just full annex these guys. And then we can just tributary these two guys. And that should be helpful for us, for our economy at the beginning here. I think we can go to war. Yeah, we can go to war again with the Torinians who are currently going on a rampage. Yeah, we have significantly more Lepontics in them, so our army should be larger. Oh my god, we start with 60% centralization? I think we go for tribal representatives because we do want more PI, honestly. So I think we'll do this. Even though we are paying PI to do this, I think it's still worth it. So we'll just get more PI. I can get this Geisati now, but I don't see the purpose in it. I have a lot of money. I just don't have the PI to, f to build the city, which is the issue. Okay, it's been some time. I'm not sure how long specifically. I've just been in autopilot, really. 
And we have finally conquered all the three provinces that we have needed to for our mission. So now we can do Padanian Conquest. There is good land to the north. Everyone knows that the region of Padania is fertile with abundant resources that we greatly desire. Let us follow the Padis River into the hinterlands and conquer those who live there now. Vercale, we can choose. That's some hemp. Novaria, hemp. Great. Vegetables? What are these resources? Both plains. I guess, actually, I will build it into Kingdom because I there's already a lot of food in this province, so it doesn't matter if one food tile gets taken away. And there's a good chance that we might get a good resource here, so we'll build it into Kingdom. There's already a fort there as well, so that's helpful. Okay, we don't actually own the entire thing, but they are our tributaries. Hopefully, we can at least get a city over here in the lands that we do own in Liguria. And nothing happened because we don't actually... <laughs> I guess it's because we don't own the entire thing. Anyways, what I have done in the meantime is get a network of vassals around us. These guys are allies, but soon to be vassals, hopefully. We have tributaries on the Ligurian coast. Oh, wait, these guys are also allies, I forgot as well. And we have a client state in Lapantia up north in the Alps. So... Our economy is doing okay for now because of those tributaries. And hopefully soon the boy will be willing, maybe. Unfortunately, though, Rome does seem to be going a little bit crazy here and is conquering the Venetians right now. And that is very scary because I am... I will soon be next. Syracuse is actually doing pretty well. There's been a lot of wars going on, which is really nice. A lot of... A lot of constant back and forth, back and forths I've seen around in the region. I'm trying to maybe get an alliance with the Etruscans. They are in a civil war, but alliance with the Etruscans would be really nice because they're already allied to the Carthaginians. So the Romans would not be able to to uh, declare war on us unless they declare war on the boy, which would be very problematic. As you can see as well, we are very close to getting enough PI to build our capital. So, we're almost there. We also are close with the money, I think. Oh, we're still a bit away for the money. We might... I don't think I can get a claim. <laughs> Cannot get a claim on the Massalians. Massalians. That would have been nice to actually declare one of them and then... Just raid them. There's no cities around that I could really raid. The Venetians are getting destroyed. I'm allied to the boy. I guess I'm just going to have to wait and get lucky with events. Wow, look at that, man. Oh my god. There's just so much money in all of these cities. What? Oh, it's starving. Mm. <laughs> Why are they starving? Why are they starving? Why are they starving? How are the Etruscans starving and Rome is fine? I, I'm sure you have a pl I, I guess the real issue is that there's way too many cities. There's way too many pops for how small it sure is. There are only 30 territories and they have 600 pops. That's way too many pops for that little amount of territories. Oh, there go the Etruscans. They had declared one of the Umbrians. Are you serious? So, yeah, Carthage isn't going to help. It's not like Carthage could have helped anyways, honestly. But, yeah, that's pretty much the end of... The Etruscans. I am screwed. I am absolutely screwed, dude. <laughs> I... Wow. The Romans are coming very soon. They will be coming very soon. Tekinum got earthenware and barbarians are coming. Tributary ceases. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. That actually gives me the ability to conquer these guys. <clears throat> and then... Oh my god, <laughs> what is going on here? So, this gives us an excuse to attack into Milia. We will do that, and then we can go to Massilia from there. Actually, pretty good that this happened. Very fortunate. Immediately declare war. Oh, perfect. Vocante actually declared war on Massilia. I will absolutely join the war. I probably should have waited. Probably should have waited. But yes, I will definitely join the war. 
Alright, we couldn't reach Massilia, but we've reached Antipolis. We will sack that. Let's full annex these guys as well. Now we can actually fabricate some claims on the Etruscans, now that we have a sea border with them. Oh, Bountiful Harvest! I think it's the first time I've gotten that this entire campaign. And I think with that we can build... Yes, finally! <laughs> finally we can build our capital! Okay, we're also sacking Agatha here. We'll definitely do that. I'm going to give this to Vakanti. I'm giving all this to Vakanti. I don't want any of this land. I don't care if they grow. I honestly prefer if they grow, especially into lands of their primary culture. So they'll be a strong ally for me against the Romans. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I I really don't know. Oh my God! They just full annexed them. <laughs> sure, that works. Yeah, go go for it, man. That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay, what I want to do is I want to immediately integrate the Ligurians, I think. That's what we're going to do. And now that we've spent that PI already to build a city, we can do a little bit of Divine Sacrifice. We also really need to change our, our Pantheon. That or we can maybe just embrace Italic, but that's so much stability. That's just a ridiculous amount of stability. We can actually ally the Etruscans now, but yeah, that's definitely not happening. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's what I was getting a claim on, too. Is that gonna... Oh, wow, they peaced out and didn't die. <laughs> Surprisingly. Now, I could actually ally these guys, Pistorium, and... Like, this is a rebellion, right? No? Who are you? Wait. Man, who are you? Who in the world are you? This is not even a rebellion. Is this, like, scripted? This must be scripted in some way. I'm so lost in how these guys just got here. I think I might ally them and use this as an excuse to invade the Etruscans and absolutely obliterate their country. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to ally them. You're going to call me into this war. I think they're probably going to call Carthage into the war, but that's fine. I don't, I'm not too, too scared of that. Also, Carthaginians are already occupied in Iberia, so I think we should be okay. Yeah, I think this is the right thing to do, so let's go and do it. It would help if you called me into the war. <laughs> just saying. It would be beneficial to, to you if you just called me into the war. Wow, I could absolutely destroy those armies, man. One marshal? I don't know about you, man, but I think you should call me into the war. I think mill axes are not gonna call me into this war. They're not gonna call me into this war. They're not gonna Ooh. Genuatians becoming a client state, meaning that I could peacefully integrate them. Yes. I think. I think yes. We are going to, I think, declare war on the Etruscans. I I feel like we should beat that army. They're not calling me into the war. I'm gonna just declare this war. I'll call Volcantia as well. Let's see this battle here. I think we should be okay. 10 Marshall versus one. Like, come on now. Easily. Yes, absolutely destroying them. Absolutely destroying them. Good. 4k dead there. We want to take on those guys as well. This might be a stack wipe. That is an... Oh, man. Oh, man. Take this. Okay. Destroy it. Oh, we already had a claim on Ariminium because of our mission. That's what we declared war for. I see. I didn't even notice. I, I didn't even get the claim yet. Did I get the... No, I never got the claim on this because of this war. I don't still don't know what it is. Who are you? I thought I called in Volcantia. Oh man, I'm such an idiot. Why did I do that? It's because of Carthage being called in so they didn't join. I freaking called them in in the declare war menu. And of course that menu literally lies to you. 
it doesn't take into account after the war is declared the willingness for the AI to join after the the enemy uh, calls their allies. So the Vacantians just didn't join, even though I called them in. That's just ridiculous. I just hate ah, it's fine. I think that's not fine. Honestly, actually, it's for the best because they're getting destroyed right now. So there's a silver lining. That's it's actually good. <laughs> it's actually a good thing. I think they're sitting here, unless they're sitting there. Yes, they are. Okay. Let's move you out. So you don't actually see that down. There we go. I really micromanage this so the better commander doesn't actually take it. Alright, here we go. I got a better marshal now. We're gonna chase down this army as far as we can. Earthenware and Mediolanum. Let's get these guys here. I think we should be okay for a bit. Okay, we can now do this, but you line them, get free province investment, growing city, some modifiers, okay. Although it took a considerable amount of resources, we have received news that our work in the province of Mediol Med Mediolanum is at long last complete. Our city has been finished for a little while now, and there are a respectable amount of people living there, with hopefully many more to come. Teotomalius has long stressed the importance of this region for seeing a time when our city will come to dominate all others. Time will tell if this prophecy comes to pass. We are proud of what we have achieved here. Finally, we stacked wiped out our army. Well, I would say that is a successful raid. Done. We have completely full siege down the Etruscan, so we've made a good amount of money. So now we're just going to end this. I'm not going to worry about taking any land. I don't want to take any land. So I definitely do not want to border the, the Romans, and I don't want to have to defend this land against the Romans. So I will simply just peace out. I'll have them liberate something in Corsica and just be on my way. We can invite settlers. Let's do that. Let's spend as much as we can. Okay, so we just need to use provincial investments in these three provinces. Okay. Right. So here probably we want to do build slots, I guess. Here, it's not free, but we will spend it, because I don't think we get a build slot anywhere, so we will just spend it. Spend the PI, we'll do build slots, I guess. So now, what do we use this money on? First of all, we want to definitely get a academy, library. Then, we also definitely want to build a mine here, and a mine here. Good. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. Romans are at it again. This time the Romans actually declared war on the Etruscans. And Carthage isn't helping. <laughs> okay. Develop Padania. Build cost, build time. Nice. Has a monthly income greater or equal to 40? There is no possible way that you expect me to get a monthly income of greater or equal to 40. Are you insane? That might be the most outrageous requirement for a mission I have ever seen. Oh, look at what happened to the Vacantians now, huh? They might actually be willing to become my vassal now. Now that they're <laughs> in this reduced state. They're, they're just one province now. Teo Tamalius made the decision to call for settlers to come and inhabit our less inhabited territories. Sending word throughout our lands that those brave enough to start their lives somewhere new would have the support of the state. Our people are ambitious and hearty, unafraid of any challenges, and we soon had all of the freemen we needed. We are fortunate beyond measure to be blessed as we are. These settlers are gathering near the foothills of the Alpes Ratii, awaiting word of where they shall be sent. Tell our people to travel far and wide, settling where their hearts desire. More pops is always good. That just, that increased my ma my maxi map power by at least 700, I think. And my, wow, my income also just massively went up. We have also integrated the Ligurians. The reason I did this was more for, I mean, also because I wanted italic units. 
I wanted some light cavalry because I have no light cavalry at all. And that would, would be helpful. I also do want to eventually unlock their traditions. Now that I think about it, actually, why haven't I ha gotten access to it yet? A hundred, why is it 120? Oh my god! That's insane. Why is it 120? Has that been increased by something? I think one of the new mods, I do have new mods. If you haven't noticed, I do have Timeline Extension and Crisis of, th of the Third Century. And I think that might be what's increasing the amount of military experience I need for traditions. Which makes sense because the game is supposed to last longer with those two mods. So, it should take you longer to get military traditions. Oh man, that is not good. We have to attack boy. We have to attack boy right now. We have to attack boy. The boys have to be attacked. I am... There are 45... No way. There are 45 pops in this city. Anyways, we... I think we definitely need to go in and take boy land just to be safe. This is a protective offensive war. I want to believe that the AI did that just to spite me. Because I don't, I, I have never seen the AI willingly take in tribal vassals. <laughs> I pretty much stopped the Romans from actually expanding into Boy and Pistorum by just taking forts, and then they just couldn't go any further. I stopped them. So instead, <laughs> they just full annex Veneto, and then tr made these guys a tr tr tribal vassals. I've never seen the AI actually do that. Th these guys may were turned into a tributary. I, okay. Yeah, sure. Issue is I'm still at war with these guys. I don't want to be at war with you, please. Thank you. I forced combat bonus plus 25%. I do like that. This stuff here is nice, but honestly, we need, like, immediate upgrades, right? So, next thing after this is Archer's Offense, which is really nice, and the combat bonus is really nice. I don't think the hit and run is going to be helpful to us, though. I don't, I don't think so. Okay, that is actually good for us, especially for the Archer's. I shouldn't be too afraid of the Romans because they don't have any claims on me. So, I guess should be alright. I could maybe even improve relations with them and try to ally them, but I don't want to ally the Romans. Yikes, the Romans just get a claim on me, and worst of all, it's on something that is very it's hard to defend. It's just this one settlement that I have. And that will very easily fall to the Romans, because it just does not have enough food. So, honestly, I feel like I should just surrender it to them. Or better yet, probably the boy. Honestly, I, I feel like I should just give it to them, <laughs> because I can't defend that. I can very- I can, I can defend Genoa a lot easier than this, for example. Like, Genoa and Verona I can very easily defend, but this is just- not something I can defend, realistically. So, what I'm going to do is seeing that the Romans are threatening me for war, with war, and threatening me by claiming this territory, I will give it to them. Strategically, this is just the best thing to do, honestly, because I cannot hold that. I just cannot, I cannot defend that, seriously. So, I'll just give it to them. Genoa and Verona are far better places to defend because they are in forest. And of course, I have the forest bonus. Forest combat bonus. So I like I need to fight in terrain. Like I need to have the the biggest advantage possible against the Romans. So even though they're playing my demise, they can't actually declare war on me right now until they get a claim again. I can ally Carthage. I am going to ally Carthage. That just seems like the smartest thing to do. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. The Seleucids are having a revolt, right? You might think it's just an ordinary revolt from an ordinary dynasty within the Seleucid realm. No, it's not. This is literally the Atropatid dynasty. 
The Atropida dynasty is literally revolting against the Seleucids and is going to win the, the Civil War, it seems, and just completely usurp the Seleucid kingdom. The Atropidids actually came back, but in a way you would never expect. Oh my god, it's 243 BC. It's about time something's happened. It's been a while since you've seen me. But finally, Rome has done something, and they've actually declared war on the Carthaginians for Corsica. Now, I do not expect the Romans to win this at all. Like, there's no way the Romans win that. The Carthaginians have a larger navy. They're actually more technologically advanced. And I don't think the Romans could actually ferry enough troops over there to actually take Corsica, but maybe they can. There's no four here, to be fair, so... But... I think this is really the best time to attack them, honestly. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't have the alliance with the Carthaginians anymore because they broke it. Well, they wanted to break it, so then I just broke it myself after they got into a war with the Ptolemaics. I did not know they were in a civil war. Come up, we have 54 levies. We have a massive army, 27,000. That is a very good army. Unfortunately, my marshals, the marshal for... My current chiefs are absolutely horrible, but hopefully we can compensate that with good mar mercenaries, which I have been constantly saving up my money this entire time. I have not, I have not ever gone under like 150 gold in my treasury, just in case <clears throat> I go to war with the Romans. So I've constantly been, so I've been having a very large war chest ready for this, for, for just this occasion. Now the question is, what do I go for? There are no forts here in Velas Arni. I could go for that, but the issue is that it would be directly against the Romans. And enthusiasm will be quite high for the Romans because it is the Romans. <laughs> so I feel like it's better to go for their vassal Veneto here. Just completely rush down Veneto. And because it will be based on Veneto's work, Exhaustion as long as I full annex them or full siege them their Their war exhaustion should be dropping very quickly and it'll be very easy to Defeat the Romans as a whole. I could also go for the boy as well It also just depends on what is the easiest thing to take and hold I could go for this because there are no forts here, but that means it's also easy for the Romans to take back and it'll just be very tedious I think it's better for me to secure the east, I think. So we go for Veneto. I think we just go for Veneto. There's a level three fort there. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I mean, I guess that's fine. We're going, we're going for Olana. It's only a level one fort. There's no port there either. So we could very easily take that. I think we go for, for Veneto. Just so we can even avoid war with the boy. Because the boy won't be called into the war because they're tribal vassal. Even though the Romans could easily still walk through them. The Romans could still easily walk through them. I did not even think about that. Oh, that is so that is so unfortunate. That completely, de that completely defeats the purpose of the fort in Verona. Completely. What? No, I swear, like, sometimes when I see something like that, I swear the game is scripted. Like, I swear something, like, a scripted event just happened. Because how in God's name did the Romans take... Corsica and Sardinia that fast from the Carthaginians. I don't even think it was a year. How? How? Actually, how? Oh, you know what? I guess it's because there's no forts. I mean, there are forts here. They took it that fast? That's insane, man. You know what? I constantly forget that Italia, that Corsica, is part of the Italia region. So they can just put bring up their entire army in Corsica. Their entire armies in Corsica. Their their entire armies in Cor <laughs> That means their entire army is in Corsica. And it's going to take them time to ferry troops over. I could use this as an opportunity to completely rush into Italy, into Italy. The boy would give me military access. Like I actually could but at the end, also, I, I actually don't even, I, I don't know. I don't actually know if their entire army is stuck in Corsica. 
but that that's the only logical conclusion as, as to how fast they could have possibly taken Corsica and Sardinia that fast. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I think we go for it. I think I'm I think I'm right in my assessment. We're gonna get mill access through the boy. We are going to invade through the boy, and we will go. Okay, so their navy is in the Po River. That's an interesting decision. Also, I should probably do that. And also, there's 12,000 there. Hmm, that's a lot. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. I expect into uh, discipline and also fort defense. So our fort defense is pretty good here. And we should, shouldn't have too bad of a, of a battle here. Especially because it's on force. So we really need to get there quickly with our mercs as well to help out. We're not going to worry about going for the war goal because I don't feel like it's really relevant at this point. We need to focus on destroying their armies before anything. And Sardinia is a thing. Okay, so they just released Sardinia. So let us get moving. This 20k. And that is... Wow, I, I'm, I like, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's... That's kind, of, that's kind of insane. That's, that's, that's wild. That's actually insane. What? Oh no. I mean, they have horrible martial law, honestly. It's actually not the worst thing to see because they have horrible martial law. At the end of the day, I can also just defend at my fort. And we could at the end of the day, maybe. I don't have that much manpower though. Push this to a stalemate. It's going now, actually. We can stagger them in. Oh, they run away. Okay. Sure. Right. 24,000. Let them run away. Seriously? 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 Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Are you actually serious? Okay. Okay. You've just done that to yourself. No, 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 no. There we go, 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 there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna lose this war. Oh, I am... <laughs> okay, wow. Oh no, I, uh, I do not feel good about this. I really, I do not have a good feeling about this at all, people. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a good feeling about this war at all. Not in the slightest. It's just not in the slightest. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Dude, how are these guys so fast, though? These guys are actually insanely fast. Like, how are you getting away? Stop it. Okay. I need to catch him at Verona. Wow, that's a stupidly large stack, man. Oh, man, this is chalked from the start. I'm gonna be honest. 13 is, qu is just pretty... It's pretty massive. Is it worth it? I think it might... I think we might as well try. I think I might as well try to go for this guy as well. Let's see what we can do with him. I need to catch this army of Verona. Like, honestly, I need to catch this army. Then I need to somehow... I need to let this army go past, get to one of my forts. Yes, I have my navy here. I have a navy for a reason. Because I can use the navy to blockade whenever I need to, to cut off armies. And this 13 Marshal Mercenary is going to be huge for me. So I need to get this army here, move them out, and have this army siege down one of these forts. They're all for us, so that's fine. That's good for me. They're splitting. They're not splitting. They were splitting. They are splitting? What's happening? What are you doing? Make up your mind here. Go f Actually, go for Macau. Actually, go for Medellanum. I uh, honestly, I want you to go, to go for Medellanum. That is honest. I don't. I don't actually mind. Or hmm, okay, sure. That that's happening, right? That that's fine. We'll just take those guys down. We're gonna bring the mercs, the uh, the thirteen marshal guy in. Cavers, he's going to die soon. That's actually so unfortunate for me. <laughs> I didn't even check his age, so we need to use him very soon. Verona is not looking good. We need you to know all their navies there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We can fight that, we can fight that. Fight that. It's in the forest as well, we'll fight them in the forest. 
River Crossing is unfortunate. We'll definitely find them in the forest here. We need to get Veronim right now. 10k, that's insane. Oh my god, I just destroyed that army. That's huge, that's huge. It's, it's killing a lot of their manpower. Even though it's Rome, though. So they have a lot of manpower. But every little thing counts, right? Every little thing counts. That's huge for me. It's going to take them off to reinforce that. I need to get there. Nice. Maybe it, maybe it will be faster coming from this side. They are starving, which is nice. Then we are not faster. Oh my god, this army is so annoying to catch. Oh, we can cut them off. Yes, huge. Huge, 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 huge. We need to get to Teresia right now, though. They are siege engineering. So, oh my god, plus two siege engineering. That's crazy. There's a 24 stack back. Okay. is gonna get taken. That's unfortunate. Uh, Lapontia? What are you doing? Like, how is that not a stack wipe? Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. We've killed 36,000, though. But this is still really bad. No way we get there in time. That's actually so huge. Come on. Yes, we actually do. That's amazing. That's amazing. 5k dead. I don't have much manpower, but... Hey, we're doing okay. Their siege engineering is stupid. Their siege engineering is actually ridiculous. Oh, that's interesting. I'll take that, but can't really do anything with it. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy shit, no. Holy fuck, no. No, no, no. No, 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 that's just not- we're not doing that. We're gonna go for our capital, please. We need to somehow- what we need to do is we just somehow get around. After we defeat a handful of the armies, we need to somehow get around and get to the war goal and then get the mummy image's peace out. And, but we can't do any of that. We can't win the war at all if- no, no. If our capital is taken, so we need to get to our capital first and foremost. Man, stop being mad, please. Okay. If they could take down a 14%, they took it on a 14%. That's actually stupid. That's generally stupid. That makes me very upset. Take it back. Take down this army. Go for Genoa, and I think we, then we can beeline for the war goal. Massive. Absolutely massive. We killed so many Romans. It's actually insane. We've killed so many Romans. <laughs> We've killed so many Romans. We're gonna run out of money. But, no we're not, because we can. First of all, neglect research. It's not like we have much research points anyways. We're gonna go for Genoa. That's a f Where did that 10k come from, by the way? I, I'm, I'm actually not even sure where that 10k came from. Take this guy down in Genoa. Then we just go for... Yeah, right. We go for Pise. What we need to do, we need to take it with our leader. So we need to get the mercs out. We need to get the mercs out, which is very risky. We're doing well. We're on medium. Like we're doing well. We've killed so we killed so many Romans. It's actually insane. We might we might genuinely be able to come out with just the province. I'm not even joking. I think we might be able to come out with just. They're on high. They're on high. They've gone down. Okay, we need to take you out. And we need to take the other mercs out, because I need to sack this city. I absolutely need to sack the city. Yes, Nacho Hyatt, that is massive. There's no forts here interfering with that. Huge. We need to go back for Verona. Or we just end the war, right? I would say we probably end the war, honestly. I would say we probably end the war. Medium, that's crazy, dude. That's honestly crazy. We can actually go back, actually. What we could do... No, there's, I, th I think there's too much around here. But we could, what we could do, we could... Risky, but we can just... Have you sit here. And just do a little bit more raiding. I guess. As long as we just sit here and protect the Wargle, we should be okay to just wipe... Oh my god, that is actually insane. They're on low. <laughs> That's just... That's generally just insane to me. Oh, they're gonna take it anyways. We'll still, we'll still fight it, we'll still fight it, we'll still fight it, we'll still fight it. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. We are absolutely, yes. Oh my god, yes. We can go for Rome. We're gonna go for Rome. We're simply just gonna go for Rome. Like, hello? We take back Verona. Took Verona back. What the hell? 18? Nah, fam. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. That's actually wild. That's... Do I even go for that? 
Yeah, we, we, we beat the Romans down there. I think we go for Rome. I, sw I really want to go for Rome. I, I really want to go for Rome. I don't think there's anything for that. There's a sack of Rome mission, but I actually need to take a lot of land first. Oh, shoot. They're going to they're, they're take Pisa. Okay, we can't go for Rome. We cannot go for Rome because I, I don't want Pisa being taken because then pretty much that's war over. Oh, we're going to that battle. I mean, we still could go. Pisa gets taken. Watch what happens. Like, Pisa gets taken, and then, like, a 20k stat comes and stops us from taking Pisa. I'll be honest. I'm pretty sure there's no real army, no threat, but I feel like that would be a massive hit for me. So I think we just get out. I think we get out. It's not like I'm going to realistically be able to take Rome anyways, because they're just going to constantly go back for Pisa. And... Honestly, with what I with what I had, with being so outnumbered, I think I did well regardless. I only lost two battles. Well, actually, I didn't lose any battles. It was just my vassal. I didn't lose a single battle against the Romans, and in every single battle, I absolutely destroyed them. We are very satisfied with the outcome of this situation. We will definitely l make you get rid of Boy. Definitely make you get rid of... Why is there two Venettos? Hello? What's going on there? There's two Venettos. Oh, oh no, which, which one is which, man? Which one is which? That's so unfortunate. I don't know which one is which. It has to be this one, right? Oh, wait, I can see it. Okay. Oligarchic Republic. Yes, that one. I want that one gone. Okay. Ah, I can see it on the map too, idiot. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, get rid of all your northern, your northern vassals. Yes, maybe we can get you to release something. No. It's a bit ambitious. Maybe in another war, but this is a good starter. This is a very good starter. Had them release Istria. Uh, yeah. I think we're good. We like we wow. Like I'm I'm generally I am Yeah, we'll get Istria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Huge, huge, absolutely huge, absolutely huge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and is how you play Imperator Rome, by the way. That's how you play Imperator Rome. That's exactly how you play Imperator Rome. Oh my god, that is so... <gasps> oh, yes, dude. That is just immaculate. You absolutely love to see it. You absolutely love to see it, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. My aggressive... Exp I didn't realize my, my War of Joshua was so high. Okay. We're gonna conquer the boy. Simple as it's just gonna happen. I think we ally the Venetians, honestly. War exhaustion is very high, but once we ally them and then just prove relations with them and then war exhaustion takes down, we should be able to diplo vassalize them very easily. There'll only be a tributary though, which is unfortunate, but I could get lucky with an event to make them a client state. Or I could simply just declare war on them and make them a client state. Either way, I just want to make sure I th the Romans don't come north again. Simple as. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's understandable. Of course, they ally the Romans. I'll be honest. The only reason, the only way I like actually had a chance in this war was because the Romans had such horrible marshals. Like they had they had horrible commanders. That was really the biggest reason why I was able to win this war. Also, just my fort, simple. Simple as just my forts as well. The fort in Verona, huge. Fort in Genoa, huge. Even though the, they, they, could just, they could just go straight through. Still, the fort in Verona stopped the Venetians from pouring in and helping the Romans, so. Okay, that's actually quite convenient that you guys got into defensive alliance or defensive league. We're immediately just gonna declare this war and we're gonna come for you. Okay, and with that victory over the Romans, I think it is time for us to end this video here. I can, of course, do a second part if you want to see that. You gotta tell me in the comments and also show me by hitting the like button as well. We have 784 pops. We are still pretty far from the Romans, but it's not too bad, honestly. Religion, we are pretty much half and half Italic and Druidic. We have the Ligurians integrated. And we might integrate the Etruscans in the future once we grow further in to this area. The T Tuskia, yeah, that's what it's called. But for the most part, our economy is looking pretty good. 
The only issue is that our, is our research, and that won't get good until we actually civilize. Capital's looking good. Civilization is rising very slowly, but that should be okay. Everywhere else, like, there's just no rise in civilization. <laughs> just absolutely no rise in civilization everywhere else. So we definitely need to civilize as quickly as possible, so that means we really need to get this vision tree. I don't know. I still don't know how we're going to get this. I don't know how we're going to get 40 income. <laughs> but right now, honestly, to be fair, we're making five, and we're not too big. Really, one more war with the Romans, and I think the Romans should be subdued for the most part. I am... I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm honestly surprised at myself to actually beat the Romans in that war. I don't know. I... 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 I, I really... I don't... I, I... Like, it doesn't add up. Like, how did the army end up in Italia when the navy was was in the Po Valley, in the Po River. Like, how do they ma how do they get to the mainland? Because if they were already on the mainland the whole time, then how did they take Corsica and Sardinia that fast? Like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't add up at all. But anyways, we still somehow beat the Romans. And we will beat them again, hopefully, in the next one. 61 levies very massive army like we have a super strong army we have a pretty good economy a comedy yeah we have pretty good economy but yeah anyways i do hope you enjoyed and it's been alton signing out see ya